I'll be going on a trip soon, but I need an automatic fish feeder that will last more than a month because my old one uses the AA batteries and only lasts up to four weeks. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Fortunately, I have the Pet Bank Rechargeable Intelligent Feeder. So ignore the water damage, I accidentally poured water from my humidifier onto the box. So you have instructions manual, it's pretty detailed too, so I highly suggest reading it. And I believe it comes with a double sided tape if you decide not to mount it on your aquarium itself. And with a USB-A to micro USB charge cable. And here is the rechargeable intelligent feeder. Here is your, oh, there's already a battery in here? Uh, I'm actually surprised, it's already fully charged. Okay, that's cool. Okay. It's model CY009, 009, all right. This is your setup buttons. You got the up, down timer, set, manual. This is so you can switch to uh, manual feeding. Oh, if you already have a set, the manual basically means it feeds right away as you already have your timer set okay and here is where you adjust to clamp it down but I think on my aquarium setup I can't use this because it's just a different uh, scheme all right this is where you will limit the amount of food from minimum to the maximum capacity and it's got a large tank right here that can store um, 200 milliliters of fish food whether it be flakes pellets granules you name it as long as it fits through the opening it's going to be able to dispense it all right now this does have 360 degrees rotatable base and if you don't want to use this base you simply pull it carefully okay this is where you apply the tape you decide to go with double side of tape like that this is what it looks like when it's being charged. As you can see, I have four different types of fish food, but before we actually test it out, let's go ahead and set the clock first. This uses a 24 hour military time system, so it doesn't have uh, AM, PM capability. Okay, set the time. It's uh, 12.55 right now. Okay, once you're done, set. Now I'm gonna set the first feeding. And you see these four rectangles right here? You have the capability of feeding four times a day. All right, so now I'm just gonna set it, uh, let's just say I wanna feed it at uh, 2 p.m. every day. 2 p.m., I think it's 14 o'clock. <laughs> Not used to uh, military time. Okay. And notice the indicator. One, two, three. So I'm just gonna mark that as one. And you want to set more, you just simply continue on with the pressing set and setting each. All right, so now I'm gonna fill up with food. Slide this big compartment out, where you can put the food in. Okay, I'm going to use a combination of tropical flakes. I think I'm running alone on tropical flakes. Tropical flakes, okay. And then some tropical crisps. These are little bigger food units. For bigger mouth fish. And then we have some uh, mini algae wafers. So these are miniature wafers. Not too much. Okay, and then some larger placo wafers. These are large capacity, perfect for placos and uh, quarry catfish. Once you're done, slide it back, and then open the opening. Slide the opening to the amount of food that you want to let out. Make sure it's big enough for 
the type of food, but not too much. Uh, it might be overfeeding. So let's just go ahead and test it right here. You, you know what? Let me just go ahead and open to the largest opening right here. And I'm going to press the manual. It's going to feed manual. It's front heavy. Keep that in mind. Okay, so manual. This is the maximum. That's quite a bit. Now let me try the minimum. But keep in mind, the large wafers might not come out. So this is close to the minimum. Just have a little opening. Seems like that's not enough. I need to open the hole better. Let's use a medium. So medium is probably about right there. Still quite a bit. So let's say you want to delete all of the sudden start over. Long press the down button or the minus button to delete all of the settings. All right, so I have it mounted, so-called mounted. It's just basically sitting on the legs right there. So of course you can use the double-sided tape or not, but make sure it doesn't tilt into the aquarium. All right, let's go ahead and test that out. Manual mode, I put a minimum amount of food. There you go. It dropped a little bit. It works perfect. Now, keep in mind this lasts after one full charge, three to six months. So I don't have to worry about being gone for an extended period of time. This intelligent feeder is suitable for aquariums up to 158 gallons or 600 liters, making it a perfect gadget to have to feed your beloved pets doesn't have to be just fish it could be turtle snake reptiles uh, anything you can name it whatever you can fit in the tank you'll be able to feed i really love the ability for it to support a long charge i don't have to worry about being gone for an extended period of time and the ability to offer a four feeding per day because if you have those big pets they definitely need its food intake. So if you're looking for a rechargeable, intelligent feeder, Pet Bank is the one to check out. Oh yeah, and make sure to power on before you leave on your trip.